Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. So what you see here are two Tecumseh lawnmower engines that I was about to throw out with recycling. And uh, it occurred to me that um, I can make one good one out of these two broken ones. So the one on the right is a Tecumseh Legend. Came off a old snapper I found. And um, it compression was bad and it wouldn't start no matter what I did. It started once, but then after that it just didn't start anymore no matter what I did. So I'm thinking it's either the rings, piston, valve, something like that screwed up in there. I just didn't want to mess with it anymore. So I stripped it and I was going to chuck the engine block out for uh, recycling. I was just going to throw it out. Engine on the left is a Tecumseh Vantage that I got um, for free the other day off of Murray push mower and the uh, crankshaft is bent. So um, that was the only thing wrong with it. This actually started and ran pretty well except for the fact that it vibrated violently due to the crankshaft being um, bent. So I was going to chuck that out too after I stripped it all for parts. So it occurred to me that I could simply just take that crankshaft and put it into that one, put the parts that I stripped off of both and put it back on here and I'd have a good engine. You know, uh, kind of a lot of work, but you know what? I've never done a video about uh, crankshaft swapping. So I'm going to give it a try. I mean, I was gonna throw these two out anyway, right? They're both about the same year, same exact model. I think it could be done.
So much to my dismay, this was all for nothing. Well, not nothing, but it's not going to work, and I'll tell you why. I had a dickens of a time getting that uh, camshaft off of that sump. Why? Because remember, that uh, camshaft, uh, crankshaft is uh, bent. So that bend is right in that area, and I can't get it out. So uh, I had to get my hands in there and take the piston off for me to get that out. But anyway, after I got that out, I uh, was ready to put that cam into that uh, block. Well, I did put it in there, and then the uh, piston didn't fit. As you can see, this is bigger than that. And if you look carefully with the numbers, 25022, 25045, there's an 18 on top, I don't know what that means. There's also a 16 over there. So they're two different, you can see the size difference. This is bored, this is bored more than this one. So they're completely different pistons, different hole size. So it won't fit on the good camshaft. So I thought, hey, maybe I'll take that um, that piston and put it in here. Obviously, that's not going to fit in there, you know. So much, so much bigger. So, also the cams are different too. Check it out. This is 80 and 30A. This one says um, 66 and 40. So they're two different camshafts. So I thought the engine was the same. I mean, they look the same from the outside, but uh, they're bored differently with different components, different size components. So, uh, you know, as you can see, that's the uh, bent camshaft, right? The numbers. And the numbers on this one. Just for my record, so I have it on video. It's interesting. Well, um, it, it wasn't all for nothing. You know why? Because I learned how to take it apart, you know. And um, what do you guys know about scrap metal? I mean, I have like three or four blocks of engine parts. Is that worth any money? Is it worth going to the dump and getting scrap money for it? I mean, I heard that the scrap weight is better now, but... Uh, I'll uh, probably sell these components on eBay, you know, everybody's going to need a um, particular camshaft, piston, connecting rods, you know, I'm not going to sell the sump or the, uh, that bent crankshaft, but I'll save that crankshaft and sell it, I'm not going to save that pump, I'm not going to save that, I'll probably sell this, it's a good cylinder head, with the bolts. That's about it. So, uh, my attempt at uh, a crankshaft swap was no good. But, I've got some more parts to sell on eBay at least. I mean, I was throwing this stuff all out, remember? So I'm just going to throw out that stuff. I'm going to keep that stuff. Uh, before, saw my hands, right? It's completely disgusting. It was all black because I had my hand inside the oil and all that. So I just tried some of this stuff that I got for a dollar at the dollar store. Gojo Lemon Gojo. Look at that, man. Pretty good. That was just now. Anyway, so while I was washing my hands, I got a text message from my uh, boy, uh, Frank, the UPS guy. You know, the guy that drives around all day and he, he texts me about uh, things that people throw away. So, uh, as I looked at my phone, it says, hey, got a snowblower at this address. It was only about five minutes away from my house and uh, got into my uh, truck, went over there. Sure enough, there it is. MTD yard machines. 321. I'm going to do a video on uh, the, fixing this tomorrow. Love getting free stuff. And it was good too, you know why? Because I don't have any other stuff to fix. This was it, you know? didn't have anything to do so that's why I attempted to take this damn thing apart but uh, anywho see you guys next time on mowers and blowers thanks for watching everybody follow me on Instagram at mowers blowers you can also check out my website mowersblowers.com follow subscribe like
See you guys next time.